Hello, my name is Chris Washington. I'm a product manager here at National Instruments. And today I'm going to talk with you briefly about a powerful test technique that can be used to more efficiently test your embedded control systems. So we see that medical devices, industrial machines, power generation systems, and many other applications are adding embedded controls to make the systems more efficient, to improve their performance, or to help them meet regulatory requirements. Now, unfortunately, the addition of these embedded control systems creates new challenges for the test engineer. To illustrate, consider this simple system in which an embedded control device is used to automatically control the speed of the motor in spite of any disturbances it may endure, such as a variation to the load on the motor. To accomplish this automatic control, the motor controller monitors the instantaneous or the current speed of the motor and then adjust the output command to that motor to, to achieve the specified uh, speed set point. So to test this system, we would create a stimulus response test that applies both a speed and load profile to our system under test, simulating the operating conditions it's, expecting to, it's expected to perform under. To determine if the control algorithm implemented in our motor controller meets our requirements, we would log the response of our DC motor system and perform online or offline analysis. Okay, so this example is very simple, but the real world applications that you, you guys develop, and more specifically the test requirements, are much more complex and can pose many challenges to simultaneously achieving the desired test coverage, development costs, and time to market for your project. So consider, for example, the following scenarios. Is your system expensive to test? Many of these systems are costly to build and create high operational costs, which makes it difficult to achieve the necessary test coverage while staying under budget. Could a test failure cause damage to a unit under test? Because of the automatic control involved, a test failure could easily damage part of your unit under test or even a test operator, creating budget and time to market challenges. Is a complete system even available when the embedded control prototype is ready to test? It's common for these development efforts to occur in parallel and because of the complexity of designing and building the mechatronic systems that are to be controlled, the control algorithm implementation must often wait to begin its validation efforts and this wastes valuable time in the development process. And do your systems come with several variations? If this is the case, then do these variations require additional test setups? Depending on your systems, these variations and the need for the additional test setups can only amplify the challenges that we've already discussed. And finally, can you repeat test scenarios to evaluate design modifications or validate fixes? The dy dy dynamics of many of these systems can make it difficult to perform repeatable tests. So if a problem is identified, it could take a considerable amount of effort to determine the cause of failure and validate that it has been resolved. All of these challenges arise primarily from what I call the rest of the system, the part of the system that is being controlled by the embedded control device. Unfortunately, testing the embedded control device without the rest of the system comes with many limitations. To perform component level testing of the embedded control device, we would add a stimulus profile to be applied to the motor speed measurement used by the device and log the command of the device instead of the actual system response. However, there are three major limitations for this kind of testing. First, we ultimately want to test the effect of our embedded control algorithm on our system. And in this approach, we're actually monitoring the output of our control device and not its effect on the system. This brings us to our second limitation. We're actually providing this system response as the stimulus to our unit under test. While there are uses for this testing approach, it does not provide an accurate way to test the control algorithm's effect on the system. If we make a change to the algorithm and then run the test again, the motor speed stimulus profile is invalid because it does not, it, not account for the change in system behavior that will result from our, our, the new algorithm on our embedded control device. 
And finally, without the rest of the system, we cannot easily evaluate our system's response to disturbances or, or varying loads and other situations it may encounter. So component level testing of embedded control devices is useful, but not for evaluating the behavior of our deployed control algorithm on the embedded control device. Fortunately, we can use hardware in the loop simulation to create a system level test with only the embedded control device by creating a virtual system level test. To do this, we'll use a model of our system that represents its response to the commands that it will receive from our unit under test, the, the embedded controller. The model takes into account the response of our unit under test as well as the test profile to produce the next stimulus point for our unit under test. In this example, the model uses the motor commands from our unit under test and the load profile to generate the measured speed stimulus signal on the fly. Essentially, we've created a virtual reality for our unit under test. Using HL simulation addresses the challenges we previously discussed by allowing us to perform system level tests without the complete system. While HIL simulation does not eliminate the need for actual system level testing using the complete system, it does allow us to test more efficiently by reducing the number of real system level tests we have to perform and allowing us to perform potentially dangerous tests in a much safer virtual environment. This virtual testing environment also allows us to achieve much greater test repeatability and ultimately these efficiencies uh, lower our cost to innovate making us more competitive in the marketplace. In short, HIL testing of embedded control devices allows us to maintain reliability and time to market requirements in a cost effective manner even as our products become more complex. This was exactly the case for Greg Sussman at Process Automation. Process Automation's customer asked them to implement a new control system to retrofit their aircraft arrestor system. The new embedded control device is part of a hydraulic control system that dynamically adjusts the resistance of a cable that is caught on by the tail hook of an aircraft when landing. Now in order to test these systems, they use a test facility where they can accelerate a mass down a runway to replicate the effect of a plane landing. It costs $20,000 per day to use this test facility, and the last time these control systems were updated required 20 days of field testing. To reduce the number of real system level tests necessary to validate the new controllers, Process Automation implemented an HIL test system, which allowed them to begin identifying issues before they, ever, uh, before they even ever went to the airfield. Even with the capital and development cost of the HIL system, the testing efficiency resulting from the use of the HIL test system helped them achieve a savings of $150,000 compared to the last update of these control systems. To achieve the development efficiency made possible by HL testing, you need a high performance real time platform with diverse I.O. and open hardware and software interfaces. At National Instruments, we've been helping our customers realize these kinds of results for more than a decade by leveraging the latest technologies such as multi-core real time processors, FPGA enabled I.O. interfaces, and the PXI standard for modular instrumentation. Learn more about how to implement HIL testing as part of your test and validation program and hear why engineers are relying on national instruments to help them achieve their business goals with HIL testing by visiting ni.com slash HIL.